In many situations, hitting control and F will allow you to either find or find and replace the text string. It's called a regular expression and it looks for a text pattern. For example, you could use a Python script to scrape a spreadsheet that you have or search for file names on your hard drive that have a specific extension or so many other scenarios. By the end of this video, you'll understand where regular expressions are used and why they're so powerful. It all started with grep in the 1970s as a command line utility that filters out the string in a file and searches for a regular expression. Regular expressions can search for strings inside of a text editor, VS Code, or Terminal. Let's do a few examples. Okay, so I'm SSH into my server here, and you can see that I have four files. One of them is called Linode.txt. So I'm just going to nano into Linode.txt and show you what I have. And you can see here that there's this one word dog. So let's get out of here and then let's just use grep and then search for dog inside of linode.txt. And it's going to show you that there is dog on this line. So you, there's a lot that you can do here. You can also just use uh, regular expressions. Like I'll say either dog, hog, or um, I don't know, pog. And then I'll put OG here. And then I'll say, look for that inside of linode.txt. And sure enough, it will find that word too. So if there's anything in here, like let me actually go back into nano, I'll add linode.txt and I'll type in, uh, I don't know, YouTube, okay? And let me actually get out of here, I'll save it. And then I'll go into grep, I'll say YouTube. Is there anything named YouTube in any of these files? And sure enough, it finds it. Now, if I were to type in like something like, uh, you know, YouTube with two E's, and then I'll search for that inside of, of Linode.txt, it won't find it. So using regular expressions like this, as well as just using grep to just search for a string within a file is actually really, really effective because if you were to have, let's go back in here. If you were to have, let's say, oops, um, let me nano in that. So if you were to have, uh, I don't know, a, let's say a spreadsheet of 5,000 email addresses, you want to find it if, if there's this one email address, which you'll see later in, uh, in the video of how to do that. If you're looking for just one email address in this sea of data, then how would you find it? Which line is it on? Does it, it even exist? And um, you can do all this stuff using grep and a couple, uh, and a couple terminal com uh, commands. So let me get out of that and we'll go back to um, understanding how this all works. We have six words in our spreadsheet. I want to only select the words can, man, and fan without including the words Dan, ran, or pan. With regex, you could type this. And this says the first letter needs to be either C, M, or F. And then the last two letters need to be A, N. But with regular expressions, you can also search arbitrary patterns. Here are three ways. Backslash D means that you can match any digit character from zero through nine. Backslash W means to match any word character. So a letter, digit, or underscore. Backslash S means to match a white space character like spaces and tabs. So now let's do another one. Okay, this looks confusing, but all it's saying is plus sign, then one digit, then three digits, then three digits, then four digits. Can you guess what that's for? It's a phone number. I just wrote code that can find any phone number, whether it's written as this, or this, or something like this. So to realize how powerful regexes are, then realize where you can apply this. Let's take an authentication form. Regexes are perfect for them. When you create a new account on a website, then it might ask you to create a secure password. And sometimes you'll get a rejection message stating, try again, your password must be at least 14 characters long and have two special characters. That's a regular expression. The web developer made sure to check that you're using something like this, which says, must contain at least 14 characters, at least one number, and both lowercase and uppercase letters and special characters. Now that's a complicated regular expression, but it's a very common one. In fact, if you don't want to manually write out that code, then you could use something like password.js, which is an authentication plugin for Node. I've used it and it's easy. Here's a regular expression for an email address. It's saying these characters at these characters dot 
between two to five of these characters. So now it fits anything that I type in. If I type in a bad email address, then it knows. Let's see if this regex actually works. Imagine that I have 2,000 lines of code, and somewhere there's an email address that I can't seem to find, but I know it's there. Well, I'll open up VS Code and paste in my regular expression, and there it is. The email address is highlighted. All I did was press Control F or Command F, and you'll see the find as well as the find and replace. I can find things by match case or match whole word. And then on this last one, we have match regular expression. So you may not have known that it was there or how to use it, but there it was. And if I click on the down arrow, then I get the replace option. So it will find a word and then replace it with another word that I could choose. And you can even make the replace word case sensitive. Regular expressions run deep and we've only scratched the surface of what you can do with them. So let's recap. One. GREP has been around since the 1970s, and GREP stands for Global Regular Expression Print, and REGEX stands for Regular Expressions. Two, they're so powerful because you can search for patterns instead of only exact words. And three, regular expressions are everywhere. Authentication forms, search boxes, and more. In many cases, hitting Control and F will introduce you to REGEX. You can either find or find and replace the text string in a document. You've been using them this whole time. And that's it. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos like these. And we'll see you next week.